months of searching, after years of no hope, I found it. I didn't know Seto Corsa could look this good. Let me show you how to install this easily and have your game looking like mine in less than 10 minutes. Before we get started, just a note that the graphics settings might not run well in servers like the popular Nohesi. My PC has still struggled for years. But for no HESI servers, I recommend putting some of your graphics settings lower and you should have no issues. Let's get started with installing. Firstly, to do any kind of modding, you will need Content Manager and the latest version of Custom Shaders patch. For Content Manager, it's as simple as going to the link in the description and downloading it. After you run the downloaded file, find your game directory if it has not been selected already. Usually, Acero Corsa will be in your main drive, Program Files x86, Steam, Theme Apps, Common, and there is your game located. If it is located in any other area for some reason, you can simply go to your Steam games, right-click Acero Corsa, click Manage, and Browse Local Files. And at the top, you will see the directory path, which you can just follow through into the Content Manager box. Next, add a name of your choice and click OK at the bottom right. Now I know you might have some questions and need help. For that, I will be launching a Discord server in the next week, so I can reply easier and the community will be able to help you out directly. Stay tuned for the next video, as I will be announcing it. Run Content Manager. I recommend running it as an administrator and head over to the settings in the top right. Click on Custom Shaders Patch and click the green Install button. Make sure you are in the latest version that is recommended and you're good to start getting into ultra-realistic graphics. Next, head over to the links in the description and go to Reshade. Click the download button and just download the normal Reshade at the top. Before you run Reshade, make sure to also download the file I have linked in the description as Reshade Preset. Keep it somewhere you can find it easily. After that, run Reshade. On the list, click acs.exe. After that, click Next and make sure DirectX 10, 11, or 12 is selected and click Next again. Click Browse at the bottom and find that file called Preset we downloaded earlier. Click Next and then Finish. We are nearly done already. Next, go to the description once again and download Pure, which used to be free, but now costs $1 sadly. But if you do want rain effects and visible rain, you will need to pay an extra dollar. But I'm sure you can find that under your couch somewhere. Click the Mega or Media Fire link, it makes no difference, and just download it. Keep it somewhere easy to find once again. Head over to the description again, and download the file called CRPP Filter. Once you have downloaded it, keep it right next to the file we downloaded earlier. To get rain effects, after paying $1 to this Patreon, you can head over to this post here and simply download the Lights Patch Preview. After downloading it, you can just simply drag and drop it into your Content Manager and click Install in the menu at the top right. If you run into any issues, I recommend installing the file manually. Just unzip the file and drag and drop the contents into your Assetto Corsa main folder. Click Replace if it comes up. And let's move on to installing these graphic presets and tweaking them to your liking. Open the Pure folder we downloaded earlier and double click into the Pure folder. Once you're here, you will need to bring up your Assetto Corsa root folder in a different window and simply drag these four files into the Assetto Corsa folder. Make sure you drag the files into the empty space on the right and click replace if needed. Lastly, go to your Assetto Corsa main folder, which you should still have open. Go to System, CFG, and then PP Filters. Here you want to drag in the CRPP filter we downloaded earlier. Make sure the file is named with the extension .ini. After that, head over to your Content Manager window, go to Settings, Custom Shaders Patch, Weather Effects. Make sure the extension bit at the top is activated by checking it, and select the weather style as Pure Gamma, which is what I have it at. I would not recommend Pure LCS. Instead, you can use the default style if you'd like. Now just head over to Acero Corsa at the top left, click Video, and at the top right, make sure the post-processing effects are enabled and select the filter as CRPP. Now for the final stretch. Run a set of courses for your content manager, either join a server. Real quick, if you want to learn how to join an online server, I made a video for that. Just click the banner in the top right. Back to the video. Or I recommend going into a single player world. You can just simply press the green go button at the bottom right in the drive menu. 
When you have loaded into your game, the home button on the keyboard is to open the reshade menu. Now I know it looks confusing, but the only setting I recommend changing is the bokeh maximum blur size, as it makes the game blurry and personally, I don't like it. To disable the blur, head over into the bottom section with all the drop down menus and minimize all of them until you get to the quint underscore dof.fx. Here you'll see the maximal blur size slider and just set it to zero. If you want to do any experimenting to make the game look different, feel free to tweak anything. Now you should have fully working ultra realistic graphics. Just remember to update reshade regularly, but it will prompt you with a message when you start your game that it needs an update. Same goes for custom shaders patch, just check in on the content manager every now and again and make sure you're up to date. Lastly, as I have said earlier, you might need to tweak down some graphic settings in your Assetto Corsa to be able to run high demanding servers and be able to play smoothly. If you want to check out any of my other helpful videos, like how to play online servers or the best apps for your perfect gameplay, they're up on the screen now. Make sure to like and subscribe as it helps me greatly and thank you for watching.